Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be week number two of SBN, the Saffron Battle Network, and we are here up against the New Jersey Freedom Fighters, a fellow New Jersey team, and he has a pretty darn scary team. He does have the Mega Charizard. I think we have the team for it though. I'm really confident about our team. I like the team quite a bit. I did actually go ahead and write down the six that I would predict him to bring. I kind of think he's gonna bring the Steelix, the Tornadus, the Ninetales, the Landorus, the Crest, and the Gengar. The last lot was a toss up between his Gengar and his Decidueye, he could honestly bring either. I have no idea which one. I do think that's the team that I think he's going to bring. If that is his team, I think I can handle it. The biggest issue, honestly, is going to be the Crest. If there's any team that's going to be able to take that down and the rest of his threats down, I think it's the one that we have now. But here we see the Gengar, Ninetales, Manaphy, Decidueye, Tornadus, and Charizard. So let me see here. I'm going to take a screenshot of his team. All right, that should help out quite a bit. But now, so, okay, straight off the bat, there's no crest. No crest is absolutely insane here. No Lando, which I guess is fine, but a lot of other stuff I kind of expect it. I kind of want to lead off with my... No Steelix as well, which is really, really interesting. So my Zero Aura is going to have quite a time here. I'm guessing that the Gengar is going to be Scarfed in some way. Uh, but let me see, what would I lead off with here? I kind of just want to lead off... Hmm. I think I'll lead off with Mini Helego here. So, okay, in all honesty, I really, really wanted to bring uh, Toxic Spikes on Manihi Lego, but I decided against it, be partly because of the Gengar, but mostly because of the Cresselia. Uh, I brought Toxic on my Manihi Lego instead, in case I'm ever up against that darn Cresselia, just to be able to Toxic it. I thought that, that would be more important, and I could probably take a special hit, uh, even if it is super effective, but... I really felt that I needed to be able to Toxic that thing. And it comes the Torn, which is really, really interesting. I do have somewhat of, an, of, of a type advantage here. His obvious switch in would probably be the Decidueye. But nothing really wants to take a Power Gem that well. I, which honestly makes me want to go Sludge Wave here. The Decidueye, again, a pretty obvious switch in here. But I don't think he wants to do anything that would give me... A free beast boost here. If I do just go for the sludge wave, that should do over max, over a half if it is max HP. I might as well just click sludge wave. Goes for the tailwind. Okay, that's pretty darn scary. That is pretty darn scary. But there goes a Sludge Wave, and I'm gonna guess that I would have been able to take it out if I just went for the Power Gem. Oh no, I'd take it out outright. Fair enough. I do have the Life Orb, I believe, unless I change items at the last second, but uh, there is a special attack rise. It would be pretty darn scary. What would be the most scary? I guess Manaphy would be pretty scary. But no, I think... In comes the Manaphy, okay. I feel like I take a special water hit though, right? Don't I? Manaphy, if you just want to scold me. I'm, and I'm at plus one, so I should dial in a plus one. Sludge Wave has a chance to Oko if it's not max. So let me see here. Manaphy with Scald, let's say. Manaphy with Scald shouldn't do more than 60-ish percent. I guess I just clicked Sludge Wave again. I don't quite know what to do here. Just goes for the Scald. We should take that fine. Oh, that is very offensive. Crit, oh man, that came really close to taking me out on a crit. And I do get burned, it's not gonna matter because of my Life Orb. And that's totally fine, that's totally fine. We do get the Oko on the crit, so I do think that was a roll that was pretty much in his favor, even at plus one. I believe I had a 37.5% chance, chance to Oko in that situation. Now, okay, I wonder what he would want to go into right now. 
I kind of feel like no matter what he wants to go into, go, going into Dawn Fan and getting rocks up is the most advantageous thing to do right now. He doesn't have any way of getting rocks up on my side. Going into the Decidueye would be pretty bad, but I don't know how you justify going into Decidueye right now. If anything, I feel like he goes into the Nine Tails. If he does go into the Nine Tails, then maybe I want to go into my Latias and go for that Hidden Power Steel. I do want to make sure of those calcs though. Nine Tails. Nine Tails Alola. Up against a a Latias going for Hidden Power Steel. It should do minimum 100%, assuming that it's not max HP or anything like that. I'm still really tempted to go into Dawn Fan. I think I should. Does go into the Nine Tails. And I like my positioning here. So so he's gonna take me out with a blizzard. Totally, totally fine. i I'm not too concerned about that. But it's gonna force the Decidueye to do some things that it's not necessarily gonna want to do. He can set up an Aurora Veil right now. I'm not too, too concerned about that. I suppose what I'm most concerned about is... I guess I should be concerned about an Aurora Veil. I guess I should be a little bit more concerned about that. And this is going to break my sturdy, so he's going to have free... Goes for the Hypnosis. We avoid the Hypnosis. That is bananas. Okay. I mean, if anything on my team is going to get... Man, I don't know why you don't go for the Blizzard, unless you expect me to switch out in this situation. But I really didn't have too, too much of a reason to. Is there any use in switching out? This is also the last turn of Tailwind, which is pretty important. I don't I don't want to get hypnosis on my darn on my darn uh Latias. Although I would really like to go into my into my Incineroar, but I think I think I just take the damage with Earthquake. Let it yeah, you can set up the Aurora Veil, it's totally fine. I can never avoid the Aurora Veil no matter what, so I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape about that. I'm gonna try to deal some damage with Earthquake. Um however, this is gonna give me another free Earthquake next turn. And I can do a little bit of judging based off of that damage. So Alola Nine Tails. Oh, I should turn I should turn this guy back on. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So Dawn Fan to an Alola Nine Tails. Earthquake should do. Let me give Aurora Veil. Vale. Twenty-eight to thirty-three. That looks just about right. So this looks to me like it's a non-invested uh, Nine Tails whatsoever. So what this does is this allows me to to get it below fifty percent uh, as I go down. Oh, I take that really well. Wow, freeze dry is not even. That is nuts. Like, okay, I know I invested a lot of special defense into my into my Dawn fan, but that seems a little bit nuts. However, if it does have the Wow, I guess yeah, my 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 huge special defense investment allowed me to take that pretty darn well. But that also must mean Ninetales isn't has no has no special attack investment. We avoid the hypnosis. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. Now, if we put this thing, oof. If we put this thing into ice shard range, no. Unfortunately, it's not an ice shard range. Cause through Aurora Veil, unless Aurora Veil ends right now, but we should be doing three to four percent with ice shard. 
Let me see here. How many turns are left of Aurora Veil? The last turn of Hail. And should be two turns left of Aurora Veil. See, if he does want to put my Dawn Fan to sleep, then that's totally fine because then that would invoke sleep laws. And my Dawn Fan 1v1s, not only 1v1s this Ninetales, but also does a lot in terms of, of um, waiting out this, this, uh, this Aurora Veil. So that's kind of nuts. That is kind of nuts for my Dawn Fan. Especially defensive, Dawn Fan's a pretty much a beast. But now the Gengar comes in, and this is nuts, because I'm pretty much... I expected the Decidueye to come in, because that would give Defog pressure, but with this Gengar coming in... This Gengar coming in... Would mean that... I can now gauge Ice Shard damage. Oh, you no longer have Aurora Veil, but now I can gauge Ice Shard damage, because if we do the 16 to 20%, Oh wait, no, Aurora Veil still not gone yet. La should be last turn of Aurora Veil, unless it was um, Light Clay. So yeah. So yeah, we should be doing about 9-ish percent. But it's totally fine. I can give this damage up. Cursed Body, okay. Icy Wind. We might take... No, I don't think we do. I think we were lower than I remember. Yeah, okay. So now where does that leave us? And it's Leftovers, or Black Sludge. But that means it's... N my Zorora outspeeds, guaranteed. I think it could be time for my Zorora, because what does he have left? He has the Decidueye. Yeah, the rest of his team gets destroyed by Zorora. So I believe... Zorora can come in. And it would be the best case scenario if he goes... This is the end of Aurora Veil, no? Okay. He was, in fact, a... Light Clay Ninetales. So that's not... I, that's not great. That's actually pretty bad. That's... Oh, I was looking at Mega Gengar. What about regular Gengar? Okay, I I really should wait out the rest of this Aurora Veil. Yeah, I'm not Okoing through Aurora Veil. Wait, I might. I actually Oko through Aurora Veil with knockoff. That's bananas. Well, that's assuming no investment, which I don't think I can assume. So I think I'm going to try to go out into my Assault Vested Incineroar and try to wait out this Aurora Veil. Because after that, then Zorora wins. But I can't throw away this, this game right now on like trying to flex or whatever the case may be. Goes for the Destiny Bond, okay? I would have outsped this thing anyway, so I'm not too, too sure why that is, but it's fine. It's fine for now. He has to click another move. He could he could go into Decidueye right now. No, it wouldn't he would never go out into Decidueye right now. I'm going to just click Darkest Lariat. He has to click another move, which is going to nullify the Destiny Bond. AV Incineroar takes that really, really well. Unfortunately, we do get poisoned, so that's going to be a bummer. But Darkest Lariat is going to come through. Miss out on the on the KO. That's unfortunate. But next turn should be the final turn of Aurora Veil? Question mark. The last turn of Aurora Veil is right now. So this should be fine. I feel like just in case I should U-turn. Yeah, because no matter what, if this Gengar stays in, then I can go in his Aurora and then I'll be, yeah, okay. That makes sense to me. And if he, he Destiny Bonds. Actually, no, that's really bad because now I can't take it out with Zorora on the next turn. 
So I have to switch back into Incineroar. Or I can go into this thing and U-turn, which would then nullify the the uh, there there's there's the Aurora Veil. Now we can U-turn with this thing. I feel like yeah, no matter what, I can just. Eat a hit with Zorora. And this should put my Zorora into position to win. Icy Wind. Oh, okay. I forgot about Icy Wind, and I forgot that. Mm. Yeah, okay. What do I do here? Oh, yeah, I go into... I go into Noivern. And the thing is that even if he does go for Icy Wind, I should be able to take one Icy Wind. And because I'm Scarfed... Okay, it goes for Destiny Bond again. All right, I'm going to have to give something up to this Gengar, unfortunately. It has to be my Noivern. Although that could be really bad because my Noivern is Scarfed, which means if his... If his Charizard gets the plus a one, then that's the only it's my only answer for it. The best thing to give up would be my Incineroar here. Which means I have to U-turn again. I'm sorry, this is this is such a silly sequence to, to have to go through, but it's what he has to do. U-turn gets disabled. But, this is going to put my Incineroar in a position where I can just take this dang thing out. Oh, I can't believe I'm putting myself into this position. I should... He's playing me well. He's playing me. Will-O-Wisp is totally fine. Man, if I'd gone into Zoroar, that would have been pretty bad. But, he's probably going to Destiny Bond, and right now I have to just not care. Because... Zorora is what wins me this match. Goes for the Sludge Bomb. We take that fine. Darkest Lariat. The only thing that sucks is that now this would give his Charizard the free opportunity to go for the Dragon Dance. Or worse yet, the Roost. But... In that case, Noivern should be able to take it on. Yeah, Noivern drops Draco. If I don't miss, then yeah, it should be fine. What damage am I doing to a Mega Charizard? Mega Charizard X. You know what? I have to click U-turn because if this thing gets two Dragon Dances up, then I lose. So I have to click U-turn. I feel like this thing goes for Dragon Dance right now. Goes for the Roost. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Darkest Larry was never going to do enough where that ruse really matters. Yeah, nothing my Incineroar was going to do was never going to be enough. So. So, yeah. My my Latias is actually a better play here because this pressures it a little bit more. And I can just Mega Evolve. Click Draco Meteor. 
and that should be that should be this thing we land the Draco yeah without a dragon dance up uh, that, that gave me the freedom to go into my Latias which should be able to take a hit better and overall just kind of handle this thing better but it, the Decidueye is going to come in as the final Mon I will be able to get in to sack off my sack off my Incineroar and then pretty freely go into I can sack off Incineroar and then I can freely go into my Zorora and Zorora knock off Oh, goes for the Sinister Arrow Raid. Oh, Zora Knockoff is not a guaranteed KO. Oh, especially because this thing is Z-Move. Yeah, because this thing is Z-Move, it's not a guaranteed KO. Yeah, it would be guaranteed if this thing was anything but Z-Move. But, I don't think this thing can KO in return. I don't think this thing is going to KO me in return, so two knockoffs should do it. And we just see how much damage we can get off. Goes for the Sucker Punch. Doesn't do anywhere near enough. Knockoff is almost going to be that KO. Do lose a little bit to the life orb, but I believe I believe another knockoff is just going to be the end of this match. That was a really fun match. Uh, again, Zora is so much fun to build with. Like I said, I think that I just had a decent matchup against his team. Uh, his team was pretty weak to me. Lego. So that was pretty unfortunate in all honesty, but that's going to be it for me. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more PGBL and SBN weeks coming up soon. Earlier this weekend, we had the championship match for the PGL and U Cup. So please do check that out as well. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.